collectible giveaways on this YouTube channel, big collectibles. And by the end of this video, we're going to discover, we're going to know where the VV comic book values, where have they gone? What kind of percent of profit ROI have we seen in uh, in weeks? We we have some that four weeks, we have some two weeks. We got, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Well, now we have two weeks of data on Rare, which, you know what? It's eye-opening. It's very eye-opening, very interesting. Uh, it, now, things have always evolving on Vivi. So we've got to be abreast of these changes. And we're going to get into it and we're going to see why. Now, don't forget, we have the comic book giveaway. We're giving away three comic books for the 2K uh, accomplishment subs on uh, YouTube. So uh, appreciate that. Join the Discord. Join the free Discord. Join the 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 family. Join the uh, the YouTube channel, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Uh, all right, so and don't forget, we've got a raffle going on. We've got three raffles purchases for a Fantastic Four issue twelve on VV uh, for this month, and each raffle is an Open C NFT. And this month, it is none other than Stan Lee. That's what's up, people. The Mister Stan Lee, I should have said. All right, let's get right into it. These are. The, I'm at bigcollectibles.com, my website, and uh, you link in the description. You can go ahead and run in there and, and um, scoop up. Uh, I'm sorry, not scoop up. You can go in here and check out the data and whatnot. So, okay, so this is what we're looking at. We've got Marvel 1, and we're going to go ahead and today's date. Now, this information is taken from about uh, three and a half hours ago. Unfortunately, I ran out of time. Uh, so I, I like to do it all in one shot, but you know, c'est la vie, right? So Marvel one at 419, that's, that's actually up from last week. Uh, but it's a, for the last four weeks, it's down by 22%. Fantastic four, but it's nice to see that it's up from last week. Not much, but you know what? It's, hey, it's something. And last week when we made this video, we did notice a lot of things starting to pop up. You know, not I mean, not a lot of things, a few things, which was a nice change. All right, Fantastic Four issue one, a uh, hundred and fifty dollars, and that is uh, down two dollars. Not there's really no change, and for the four week change, down thirty one percent. Amazing Spider Man one, that is at one eighty three, only down uh, seven dollars, uh, but it's down thirty two percent in the last four weeks. Journey into Mystery 85, fantastic comic book. It's at 67, up from $60, down 26% in the last four weeks. Fantastic Four, issue five. That one is at 137, just down five bucks. Uh, but down for the four weeks, for the last four weeks, it's down 23%. Fantastic Four, five. Fantastic Four, 12. That's at 29. No change from last week. But for last four weeks, it's down 26%. Daredevil 1. That's at 94. Up $1 from 93 from last week. That's down for the last four weeks. It's down 35%. Daredevil 1. Amazing Spider-Man 3 is at $68. Up $2 from last week. For the last four weeks, that's down 25%. Amazing Spider-Man 3. Down 35%. I'm sorry. Amazing Spider-Man 3 down 25% in the last four weeks. Uh, Ultimate Fallout 4, it's actually up. It went from 118 to 137. And look at that. It's only down 4.86% in the last four weeks. New Mutants 98 is at $36, up $1. For the last four weeks, New Mutants 98 is down 34%. Amazing Spider-Man 14. Amazing Spider-Man 14 is at $32, down $6 from last week. For the last four weeks, Amazing Spider-Man 14 is down 31%. Captain America 117 is at $25, up $4 from $21 from last week. Luke Cage is up $2 from last week. Nice to see that we don't have enough data for the four weeks of data on those. So we can see these are the comments. The biggest loser, as we always like to look at, is... Mm, what is the biggest loser? At 35%, Daredevil 1. Looks like it's Daredevil 1. New Mutants 98, close second. The biggest winner, if you can call it that. I mean, I call it a winner. 
is uh, Ultimate Fallout 4. He's only down 4.86% in the last four weeks. Very interesting. And the total, the average on these comic books that I have here, these are my favorite, uh, Twenty. the average is, for the commons, you're down 26.76%. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the um, the rares. Let's look at the rares. Same comic books, but in rares in, on VV. Marvel 1 at 975, down 3%. Fantastic Four 1 at $395, up 7% from last week. Amazing Spider-Man 1 at 500, down 17%. It's only two weeks of data. Started this last week. Journey to Mystery 85 at 184. That's down 9% from last week. Fantastic Four 5 at 280, up 2%. Fantastic Four 12 at 75, down 6%. Daredevil 1 at $187, that's up 1%. You know, uh, not big gains, but nonetheless, gains. Amazing Spider-Man 3. At 116%, down 10%. Ultimate Fallout 4 at $440, down 12%. New Mutants 98 is at 116 that's up 1%. Amazing Spider-Man 14 at 89 no change. Captain America 117, up 12%. Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number 1 at $64. That's up 12% also. You can see here the biggest winners are Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number one, and a Captain America, 117, both up 12%. Very nice to see that. And then the biggest loser in the rare column is none other than Amazing Spider-Man, number one, down 17%. And look at that total for the rares in the last two weeks. Now, again, I don't have enough data, you know, but we the numbers don't lie. The last two weeks, it's only down 2%. That is a win. When you compare the commons that you were down 20-something percent, right? We just looked at it, 26%, something like that. Um, this is down. You're only down 2% on the rares. You got, you know, weeks ago. I mean, now months ago, when I first jumped in on the app, I did a, 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 a comparison, and the commons won, hands down. But look, things are changing. Things are changing. Uh, Strange did mention that he likes the rares, um, you know, uh, I don't want to speak for him, but uh, in another video he did say, you know, uh, he, he likes the rares. I can see why. Let's go ahead and look at the secret rares, see how they fared. And we have a few more weeks of data on the secret rares and the secret rares. Uh, and speaking of, Strange started his own YouTube channel. Got to check uh, uh, Strange Things Vivi. So you got to check it out, man. You got to check it out. Um, okay, so the secret rares. Marvel 1. Where, I'm sorry. Let me zoom out a little bit. Marvel 1, 69,000. That is down 8% in the last four weeks. Fantastic Four 1. That is at 15,000. That is down 17% in the last four weeks. Amazing Spider-Man 1 at 15,600. That's up 4.7%. Very nice to see some, you know, some some nice numbers. Journey into Mystery 85 at 3900. That's down 20% in the last 4 weeks. Interesting. Journey into Mystery. Fantastic Four issue 5 at 6500 down 5.8%. Fantastic Four issue 12 at $900. That's down 9.55%. Daredevil 1 at 3900 That's nice. It's up from 3500 to 3900 And it's the last four weeks on the Secret Rare is actually up 2.6%. Amazing Spider-Man 3 at 1800 Down from 2200 from last week. And for the last four weeks, you're down 18%. Ultimate Fallout 4, 4900 No change from last week. You are actually up 13%. Almost 14% in the last four weeks for Ultimate Fallout 4. We see Ultimate Fallout 4 doing big things. Very strong comic book. And as I mentioned, a newer generation, they prefer, obviously, to see uh, the new character. Just like how I grew up reading certain characters like Spider-Man. 
the newer comic book collectors, the newer people on VV or the younger people on VV, they they came in and they they see what came out. They saw Miles Morales jump off. They saw him, you know, come up. You know, so it's very interesting to see that that they and again when I was a kid reading Spider Man, it's not like I saw his first appearance come out. Obviously not, but there was no other big character that came out that was like you know what you know uh let's just i mean obviously not, nothing like spider-man but you know there's there's the ghost ghost rider existed before me but remember ghost rider uh has had a new character that came out when um when i was coming up you know and and just you know things like that so you're just venom how about venom venom came out while i was you know young uh carnage again so again i i i, I feel those special ties all right man so i so i just wanted to point that out because you can see that Ultimate Fallout 4 is just, it's solid. It is solid. All right, New Mutants 98, 2700, up from 1900 last week. And for the last four weeks, up 3.85%. Amazing Spider-Man 14 at $810, down from last week, 950 But for the last four weeks, you are down 10%. And then uh, Captain America 117 at 595 that's up from 545 and then Luke Cage Hero for Hire number one uh, at 525. That's down from 600. The average for the secret rares, you can see there, is 5.81%. A little bit better than the rares. The commons by far have taken the biggest hit. I, again, I, I've only been doing this for about four weeks. I would go ahead and say, with the research that I did way back when, it seems like the commons saw the most love. And and the the rares, the secret rares, it looks like they are um, they're not taking it as a big of a hit. Obviously, you know what I mean. So it looks like maybe things have changed. Uh, not maybe the numbers don't lie. The numbers speak the facts. So go ahead. All right, let's let's look at one more one more group of comic books. And this is my second. We're just gonna look at common comments real quick. This is. You know, my second favorite group of comic books. Avengers 47 at $20. Last four weeks, you're down 20%. Avengers 57, you're at $39. And last four weeks, you're down 15%. Daredevil 131 at 16. Last four weeks, you're down 22%. And then Daredevil 131. Oh, wait, I just did that one, didn't I? Eternals 1 at 44. Last four weeks, you're at 34%. Tales of Suspense 52 at $31, down 25% in the last four weeks. Tales of Suspense 57, you're at $24, down 28% in the last four weeks. Fantastic Four 13 at $27, you're down 17% in the last four weeks. Amazing Spider-Man 2, 52, amazing, uh, that's a nice comic book. 3700 that book is... Uh, down from 4,300 last week. That's the short mint number. Uh, but last four weeks of data show that that comic book, Amazing Spider-Man 252, is down 21%. Amazing Spider-Man 361 at $46, down 25% in the last four weeks. And then Fantastic Four annual number three that just came out, $16. I put this in my second group. <coughs> I really like that comic book. Uh, I remember when I bought... Uh, the wedding of Peter Parker and uh, Mary J Mary Jane Watson. You know, I um, I wanted to get this one too, but you know, it was it, I was it, I was priced out of it, so I had to put you know put it here. Now look at that, you're down twenty four percent on this second group. So even these are all commons. So even in the second tier of commons, they've taken an equally hard hit. Okay, just look, I provide data, you do with it as you wish. Look at the, the rare, look at the um secret rare. It's there, man. It's interesting, it's interesting. Where is it going to go? I'm not a financial advisor, I don't know the future. I don't know where the future is going to go with this. But you know what, you can just look at the data right there. Link in the description for this website, for my website. You can go and, and refer back to this whenever you want. And you can, you know, uh, you know, tomorrow, the day after Friday, you want to say, you know, how, what has, what was this price a few days ago? Has this gone up or down? Where is this headed? And it's completely free. Now there's other websites that, 
you know, they, they have this type of information in there and a nice, beautiful graph and all that. You know, I don't, I, I, but you got to pay for it. And I, I'm not sure if they, um, you know, you have your percentage and all that. You know, this is just for free. All right, everybody. You know the deal. Good luck in all your collectible decisions. Let them all be profitable. Don't forget. Don't forget. We're giving away comic books. We we got the free Discord. Link in the description. All that good stuff. Come join us. It's going to be off the hook. Always chopping it up. All right, everybody.